Hi everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and here's her story. Hello Ollie, I just wanted to follow up with you again after this past year of self-discovery. I last wrote to you after I left my mother's house in the night and decided not to go to my sister's wedding. The next day, my sister showed up to my brother's house and oh so subtly asked why we hadn't appeared there. I can laugh about it now because I know beyond the shadow of a doubt it was an intimidation tactic. Anyways, I was prompted to write to you after I watched your video on, an ex on exclusion as a tactic to victimize us. This last time I left, my golden child sister felt it necessary to call me and tell me how my mother had taken her now husband out to dinner to celebrate my little brother's birthday. You see, he's autistic and generally reserved. So she goes on and on about how good it was and how much fun he had and how he was dancing at the jazz club with the dancers. And I just remember asking her very rudely why the, why the fuck she thought it was appropriate to tell me that my brother had fun like a normal person when I asked my mother to come celebrate my birthday on my dime and she refused, saying she was too tired. By the way, the house that she offered me, I found out she's still living in it. But it got me thinking. These narcissists use this as a tactic to make our childhoods so shitty. I remember how badly I wanted to kill myself growing up. My 15th birthday was the worst. It was like your Thanksgiving times, too. I just wanted to share what happened. I asked for a slumber party that birthday. She agreed, only to tell me a week before that I couldn't do it anymore, and I had to invite my awful cousins instead because they couldn't afford food. How the fuck one day of food was going to change that, I still have no clue. But after crying, she finally said I can invite one friend. That was just a trap, you see, because my friend had to witness me being excluded during my own party. I like rock music and their ghetto is hell. When my friend and I were listening to the music, they changed it. When we had, when we had to eat, they didn't leave me a spot at the table. They told her embarrassing stories about me. She gave me several CDs as gifts. They confiscated my presence. I just spent my birthday in the basement with her crying because I was so humiliated that my friend was witnessing them treat me so shitty on my birthday. I just wanted to say, keep strong. These assholes ruin our childhood all the time and they destroy your sense of self and worth. Self and worth. It annoys the hell out of them when they can't destroy you anymore. I want to be kept anonymous because I recently got a job working as a nurse and I don't want them to find me on the registry. Very soon I will be changing my name to make it harder for these vampires to find me. I still remember being in boot camp and, and then emailing my CO, demanding that they let me go because they kidnapped me. If that doesn't tell you how destructive they are, nothing will. These lunatics would destroy us all if they could. Once you go no contact, keep it that way. Thanks so much for all your encouragement, Ollie. Stay strong, everyone anonymous sounds very typical and you know Charlene I mean I've had some horrible birthdays and Charlene has pretty much the same story about the one party she had she was eliminated from her own party mother told embarrassing stories didn't get anything she wanted her brothers took all her presents as per usual and nobody does a damn thing about it. They always like to shove shit in your face when you're not there. Look at the good time we're having without you. But here's the thing. If that was the case, they wouldn't have to go through so much work. You know, the narcissist actually gives them more work, gives themselves more work to, to exclude you. When you think about the effort it takes. And this is how you know narcissism is so calculating. Because the efforts that they go through in order to exclude you proves their calculation. Because it's not a matter of we're just not calling you. 
Okay, no, 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 no. We're taking you out. We're bringing witnesses. There's going to be dancing. It's a lot of work to exclude you. That proves the calculation. That proves the narcissist knows what they're doing. That proves it's all a choice. When you consider the calculation and the effort to exclude you, you know you made the right choice by cutting them all out to begin with. So, thank you again for your contribution and your short story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to set up a Skype chat, phone call, have a private video made, a Facebook chat, or you'd just like to sponsor the channel or sponsor a video for someone else, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. If you're still unsure, there's an instructional video that'll pop up last that will take you through all of that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. This is Ali Matthews, and this has been The Narcissistic Resistance.